ground. They make you still very uh, indignant towards what's happened. They make you very arguing, a person who argues too much and wants to debate on things. So try and reduce all these things. Business planets are there. So it's going to be a business day in the sense that career or business areas are what's on your mind the most. If it's in the personal or romance areas, don't argue, avoid an argument, don't quarrel. And you will see that as long as you are agreeable, less of the negativity will happen. The evening session is much better. Here you can talk about travel plans or even travel itself. You can find that uh, areas of socializing are very helpful and you can also meet people, especially either of the foreign kind or those who have come from abroad or even if they are local, you will find that the evening session does improve for you. Thursday the 24th, another very difficult day. It brings about problems of the past, it brings about difficulties of the present and it produces a danger of breakups, which means that things in the personal and love and romance areas and family areas can be stretched where the negativity rises up to 80%. And that's very dangerous because quarrels that way can lead to long-term unforgiveness. In your job, in your career or in your business areas, watch out, only bad news seems to come. And uh, the best way to handle this would be to try and postpone important meetings. But if you can't, flow with the tide and don't be arrogant and don't show your temper. Otherwise, situations will even become worse. So the sixth, well, sorry, the Thursday, the 24th, is going to be a very difficult day for you. As I said, lie low and flow with the tide. Friday, the 25th, becomes an excellent day. It brings about a lot of support whether in career or business or in love areas or family areas. The night session is perfect for bonding and is perfect for socializing or meeting people who are going to play a part in your life as well. So I make Friday the 25th as an excellent day to be active uh, day and night and to move forward to produce your ideas in career or in business as well and to meet business contacts where you are going to prove that you can even attract either contracts or good contacts. That's for Friday the 25th. Let's go to Saturday the 26th. Saturday the 26th uh, becomes a day where whatever you try to do has delays waiting for you hurdles, obstacles. So you might as well not be too pushy. Otherwise, you are going to be a person who time and again will be finding that negative results are being showing all the time. The evening session is a bit better. That's from about 7 p.m. onwards, where if you socialize or if you're still at work, that would be a better time to speak to your superiors or a better time to contact people in the business area. And definitely uh, areas of family or love or romance uh, related, the evening session produces a little bit of help. But overall, Saturday the 26th is going to be a frustrating and even depressing day for you. So lie low. Sunday the 27th, a much better day for you. There's a lot of support from good planets. Push your ideas and don't be surprised if everything is accepted. Call people you are interested in and you will see they respond very well to you. Evening session says you are ready for good socializing. You are ready to make plans to make changes in your life for the better. So overall, Sunday the 27th, an excellent day to do anything you want. Monday the 28th, another good day for you. It helps you talk to superiors or your boss or speak to people you are doing business with or people that you are interested in on a social level. It helps you gain a lot of support and good results. The evening session says meet people of business related areas and also talk to your uh, people you work with or your bosses, socialize with them. And the evening session will help you make the 28th, which is a Monday, become an excellent day, day or night. The only little downside is that you may behave a bit stubborn or a bit dominating towards the evening session. So try not to do that. Tuesday the 29th, a good day. A good day in the sense that an agreeable day to most things. But it's also a day where planets are not 
uh, strong enough for you to push your way through. So you've got to take it easy. And if plans do change, try not to be angry about them. Just flow with the tide on 29th of November and you will get some things done. But the evening session is a bit of a worry. Here, the evening session planets are against the planets of the evening, are against planets who are ruling your day earlier on. So the result can be that you can experience bad news on the evening session of the 29th of November. You can yourself behave very erratically because planets can make you do that. You can be very rebellious of nature. So if you want to socialize, try not to do all that. Otherwise, don't socialize. Just, just be on your own and lie low. Wednesday the 30th is an extremely good day for you. It brings about many opportunities for you. It brings about the opportunities in business related areas or career related areas more than anything else. Talk to superiors in your area of career. Talk to business partnerships or to the kind of business that you have been changing or you have been chasing and you will find that you can so get very good news for Wednesday the 30th in any form. If looking for romance during the evening session, it's very possible. But the evening session, faster planets are there. So you've got to be very quick about what you want. The only downside on the evening session of the 30th is that you may turn a bit argumentative or hasty or impatient. And that can spoil the evening session. So slow down, wait for results in the evening session and anyway the daytime session is good for you to move ahead in business and career areas and uh, Wednesday the 30th is very much on your side except that the evening can produce some stress and that's what I have to tell you about your month of November good luck goodbye